Pastodra Sat Shri Shiman, Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shikshi Gurudev, Om Vishnu Pad Astodra Satshi Shimad, Shilabhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To all of our disciplic succession and all the assembled devotees. As I was just saying these mantras, I was remembering Srila Gurudev in Australia about six years ago. And he called on one of his young disciples. She was a teenager who was studying law at the time. He called on her to speak. He wanted her to speak on why our Srila Prabhupada came to the West. So she stood up and she started speaking very quick and very nervous. So he said, wait a minute. He interrupted her and he said, wait a minute. First say the prayers to your Guru Dev and Guru Prampara and they will give you inspiration to speak. When Sri Parikit Maharaj asked Shiva Sukhadeva Deva Goswami uh, some questions about the creation of this world, Shiva Sukhadeva Goswami also began to utter about a chapter of prayers before he began speaking. He was praying to all of his predecessors to decorate his statement. So we utter these prayers before giving and hearing class with meditation so that we can get the mercy of our superiors so that something wonderful happens. Well, we'll begin by saying that the good news is that Srila Gurudev never really left. It was just a dramatic performance. I was just editing one uh, darshan the other day in uh, the Philippines, and Srila Gurudev was explaining how um, Krishna comes from Goloka, Vrindavan, and his associates also come from Goloka, Vrindavan. They're all always with Krishna at every moment, Radha and Krishna. So when they take birth here, that birth is just a play. They're not really taking birth. Just as Krishna is like the sun, in the sense that the sun does not really appear in the morning and disappear at night, it's always there. So that is also true for Krishna's pure devotees. Shilagurudev's Gurudev, Shilabhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj, 
wrote, and this is written in our Harmonist magazine, that when the Acharya comes, it's just like a dramatic performance. The changes of his body from boyhood, the parent changes, and his youth, and then his old age, and apparent illness is just like dramatic performances, like a dramatic actor on stage. He's one person doing dramatic acts. 就像好像电影或者戏剧里边的一个养羊一样，从出生长大，然后老呃就是变老这样等等。Because he's an associate of Krishna, even though we may see him that he's in pain or that we're in pain seeing his illness, actually all of his activities and everything about him is full of eternity, bliss, and knowledge. 其实我们可能会看到了就是说圣人他们也在承受着疾病或者痛啊但是这一切都是为了我们永恒的那种祝福 Shula Gurdjieff once said that somebody asked him a question about Shula Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur He said somebody asked me a question that I was never asked before and I gave an answer that I've never given before. They asked me, where is Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada now? And I answered, he's in every atom. Because he's eternally serving Radha Govinda. And we read in the Brahma Samhita, Paramanu Chayantara Stam. Govinda is playing all of his Vrindavan pastimes in every single atom. And his, uh, the maid servants of Srimati Radhika, they are with them wherever they go, in every atom, in every universe where they're traveling. So Srila Gurudev was, was never and is not limited to what appears to be his body. Just like our Srila Prabhupada wrote a letter in 1972 to my god sister Malati in this regard. He said the spiritual master is not limited to the body. He's the principle, just like a principle of relay message. Like if a movie is going on wherever they make movies, where do they make movies here? Hong Kong, okay. So they're in a movie studio in Hong Kong. And then on your TV, you can turn that on. Even though they may be many miles away, you can turn them on right there. So Prabhupada wrote in that letter, that anywhere you want the spiritual master to be, he's there. And guess what? He's even there when you don't want him to be there. When Gurudev was in Hawaii several years ago, a husband and wife came in to have darshan with him. And he told the husband to stop beating the wife. So the husband said, Gurudev, I don't do it anymore. 
And Gurudev said, Yes, you do. I know you do. I was there. <laughs> Once uh, my guide sister Vrindavan Velasini told me that Gurudev said, uh, I'm in every atom. Like he had said about Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanti Saraswati. So I didn't believe her, so I asked Gurudev myself. And he replied that just as when Maharaj Parikit was cursed to die in seven days, and then he went to the bank of the Ganges to hear Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, there were sages, thousands of sages from many, many different planets all over the universe who heard about the event that this was going to happen. So they all came down to earth to hear. So they didn't have any internet or radar or TV wires to, that went from the earth to their planet so they could get the news. But somehow they got the news. So if they are that powerful and can be where the news is, even though they appear to be far away, then what to speak of the intimate uh, servants of Radha and Krishna, who were the highest of devotees and the most powerful? The first time that our Srila Prabhupada was going to leave New York to open his first temple in San Francisco, I said to him, Oh Prabhupada, I heard you're going to be leaving. So he said, you think I would leave you? Don't think like that. I'm always with you and you are always with me. So similarly, I've been with Gurudev all over the world year after year for 14 years. And I hear him say that in practically every single Harikata festival around the world. On one hand, in the last few years, when devotees have asked him, what will we do when you leave? One devotee, uh, your brother Druva, asked Gurudev and Badger, what are we going to do when you leave? So on one hand, Gurudev said, in answer to his question, weep. But on the other hand, when devotees asked him many times, what are we going to do after you leave? He said, just ask me any question at any time and I'll inspire you in your heart. One is kind devotee sets group. I uh, told Gurudev back in 1991, uh, when the GBCs were all going to see Gurudev, he said, uh, Now that Srila Prabhupada's gone, um, I kind of try to get advice from different God brothers. 
那么婆婆婆呢已经离开我们，所以呢我就尝试从啊我不同的啊神兄弟那边呢得到那些建议。But the problem is that all my god brothers give me different advice, so I've decided to take shelter of Chaiti Guru, Guru in the heart. 问题就是说每个人给我不同的指导指引，所以呢我就想我还是逃避于我内心的那个啊超灵。In other words, super soul. 就超灵。So is that okay? So Gurudev replied, "No, it's not okay." Gurudev 就回答他说，这样不不可以的。It's true that you can pray to Super Soul in the heart, but it's much better to pray to your Diksha Guru because he's also in your heart. Gurudev 说，没错，你可以向超灵啊祈祷，但是呢，更好的做法是向你的那个啊启迪导师祈祷，他也在你的心中。Then he said, "This question never comes to me." What do I do now that my Guru Dev is left? I never experienced that. He said, I have full faith that my Guru Dev is always with me, guiding me, how to reach Radha and Krishna. So your Guru Dev Prabhupada is always with you, doing the same thing. Just pray to him. Guru Dev 呢在心中，所以你们 Guru Dev 就这样说，你们的佛菩萨呢其实永远在你们心中，你们应该向心中的啊、呃、自己的导师啊祈祷。嗯、um, ，For those of you who have seen Guru Dev in his Hari Kata festivals around the world, and、uh, Sri Padvaishnav Maharaj has been in many places around the world with him, he can also tell you that. Although Gurudev calls on various sannyasis and other speakers to speak, 就是好像大家也都知道，古典中有强求啊，好像为啥马拉加也经常还会出现在那些啊节日里边？大家也都知道，古典经常呢会叫其他的三两喜一起，就是他们站起来讲课。As we're standing up there, speaking something about Kali Yadamana or Abhisura or Brahma Gita, and we think that we're giving something. What's actually happening is, 就是我也当时在那边，我站起来就讲课，讲了很多东西。但实际上是怎么样呢 ？We're just, um, how do you say it? Shaping different syllables that sound like the reality, but in the meantime, Shiva Guru Dev is just sitting down on his Vyasasana, and all the pray madams are coming out of his body. Onto all the people in the audience, and that's the real Hari Kata. 其实他在讲的时候，当但是那些能量都是从古鲁迪尔身上发出来的，而且发出向所有的天众，其实就是这样，这就是哈利卡塔啊，怎么样传出来的 ？In fact, he said, even if he doesn't say anything, I've heard him say this a couple of times, especially in Australia in the beginning of the 2000s. He said that. Uh, suppose you're in a room with Musk, and Musk doesn't speak, but just by being in the room, you're getting all the fragrance of the Musk that's spreading all over the room. 就好像啊，在那啊，二零年开始的时候传播，就在那个澳大利亚那边啊，古鲁迪亚他就说，就算他坐着不讲话，但是像香雾一样的从在房间里边也在散发出来，是吧？不过有蛇香的房间。系咯，就是麝香嘛，就是香味嘛。他那房间就像你，呃，他不用什么样，那香味自然发出来的。Similarly, even if Guru Dev is not saying anything, he said, he's explaining, the pray madams come out from the pore holes of his body, and Shabda Brahman, transcendental sound, transcendental reality, comes out of his glance. 什么像 Guru Dev 一样坐在那边什么都不要讲，但是他每个毛孔发出来他的纯爱。I remember one time we were in Mathura, and there were some devotees. Like Mathura is a very wide temple. Uh, it's more wide. Yeah, it's wide. So, <laughs> so you can sit over there, way down there. Here's Gurudev. You can be way down there and way down there. So Gurudev was telling some of the devotees who were way down there and way down there, come up and sit right in front of me. 那么，因为我们马祖来的那个神庙呢，就是说是属于横的啊，就是横长横横横的，只是没那么长，所以很多人都是坐在两边。古鲁迪亚就会教大家坐到中间来，坐进过来。Then I can work on you. 
那么格罗地亚说这样的话呢，我就会让你工，我在你身上工作。On the other hand, it doesn't matter whether he's apparently looking at us or not. 但是另外一方面呢，就是不管他有没有看我们都好。For example, I don't know if I told you this story here or not. It was back in 1997 in Australia, his first year in Australia. So, so there was this one couple who were from Iskan, so they heard all kinds of bad things about Guru Dave and they were warned not to come to his festival, so they decided to see for themselves. 就在伊斯坎堡有一一对夫妻听了很多古典的坏话，然后他们就说不要去听他的讲课，但是他们还是觉得自己应该亲自去听一下，然后知道，所以他们来了。So as soon as the wife, uh, what's her name? Oh, Jaisri. As soon as she saw Gurudev, she started to fall in love with him, but the husband, he was still like very careful. 那么他妻子呢叫吴杰斯里，他一。The husband was his name is Jugal Kishore. So Gurudev was uh, giving so much attention to his wife, and Jugal Kishore didn't feel any attention from Gurudev. He was his wife called Yuga Kishore. When he was very sweet, Gurudev actually gave him a lot of attention. That means he was looking at his wife. So he was looking at his wife. So it was like a ten-day festival, and every day the husband was getting more attached to Gurudev. 就是十天的节日之间呢，但她的丈夫也慢慢的就是对 Gurudev 有了爱意依恋。But simultaneous to his being getting more attached to Gurudev, he was becoming more and more frustrated. Because now he was experiencing that Gurudev wasn't paying any attention to him. And by the last day, he was ready to scream because he was now so attached and so frustrated. He was scream. He was ready to scream. 最后一天的时候，他再再也忍无可忍了，所以他想叫出来。<laughs> so then, um, at the very, very tippy end, Gurudev turned to him and he said, I'm working on you. <laughs> and just as I was telling that, I reminded myself of uh, how Gurudev is that um, magician on stage. That Param Gurudev said the Acharya is the magician on stage. I heard him say on a few occasions, don't think I'm doing nothing. I'm just in the background somewhere. I'm doing everything. 就是呃，古典曾经几次都这样说，不要认为我什么都没做，其实我在后面做的一切。So here's the example. Vasanti will tell the example of P.B. Sakar. 那么 Vasanti 弟弟会跟我们大家分享一段啊他们的经验。She's declining. She's shy. Oh, Chinese. What? <laughs> so P.B. Sakar was a very, very famous magician of about 50 years ago. Do you know this story? Did Maharaj ever tell you this? So he was so famous that the biggest government men would come and watch his show. So his show was going to be at 4 o'clock. So they all came and they took time out of the very important days. 
Now, the magician didn't come at 4 o'clock, now it's 4.15. They're getting a little bit agitated, looking at their watches, doesn't he realize how important we are? We have places to go and people to see. Now he's taking this time out, who does he think he is? Okay, 4.30 comes along, no magician. They're getting more aggravated, angry. Quarter to five, they're furious. Who the heck does he think he is? Doesn't he realize how important we are? By five o'clock, they're ready to kill him. <laughs> At five o'clock, he walks on the stage very nonchalantly. <coughs> and they're raising their fists, standing up, screaming at him. Who do you think you are, you small time magician? We're big shots in the government. <laughs> He said, what's the problem? He said, you told us to come in four, it's already five, and you just walk in like nothing happened. So you're an hour late. He said, no, I'm exactly on time, it's four o'clock. He said, it's not four o'clock, it's five o'clock. He said, look at your watches. So they looked at their watches and sure enough it was four o'clock. <laughs> so that was the hour show. <laughs> so that's magician. And he's an ordinary person. Magicians are like mystic yogis. They have special powers. But for a pure devotee like Gurudev, mystic powers are an insignificant byproduct. He'll never let us get away with anything. He'll hold on to us and bring us more and more to him. You know the story of the guy who boasted that he used to fast uh, without drinking water on Janmastami and Akadasi in all those days? This was about like 12, 13 years ago. Srila Gurudev was giving a lecture in Hindi on Prem Vivart and all of a sudden he told the story that you, you can't bluff Guru. He's always there watching and much, very, very powerful. So there was this one so-called devotee who used to boast to everybody that I fast near Jal on Janmastami, Akadasi, all the Lord's appearance days. I'm so great. I'm so renounced. But what he actually used to do is he used to drink water under the river. And I take bath three times a day in the river, a sacred river. But actually he was drinking water under the water when he was bathing. So one day when he was drinking the water, a thornfish flew into, uh, swam into his mouth. <laughs> and got stuck halfway down his throat. So he jumped out of the water wailing and screaming and ran onto the shore and started rolling in pain. So everybody ran over to him and realized he was an imposter. So nobody can um, 
Nobody can bluff Guru. So at the same time, I mean, everything that I've been saying up to now is for us to feel his presence. But that doesn't negate any sincere feelings of separation because they both go on simultaneously. About seven or eight years ago in Australia, Srila Gurudev's uh, theme of that Harikata tour was Guru Tattva. In fact, he began the whole uh, tour lecturing by saying, Today is Guru Day. And at the end of it, he asked, ordered me to, and our team, to make a book of all the lectures that he had given, and that book became the famous Guru David Tatma. I don't know if you have that in Chinese yet or not. Yamor so um, in that in that touring, practically every night he was quoting this one verse from the eleventh canto of Shima Bhagavatam. I don't know if I'm going to sing it right, so if anybody who knows it can sing it with me. By Amrutiya Binive Shitasyad Ishada Petasya Vibar Jayosmati Tanmayayatam so on the last line it says Guru Deva Tatma that Sri Guru, the way to get out of Maya, which we've been in since the beginning of time, is to take shelter of the bona fide Guru who is more intimate than our own Atma. Can you imagine that? He's more intimate with us than our own Atma. How dull must we be to see him as further? So then uh, the next day I happened to, because uh, for a lot of times for the Harikata mailing list when we do the lectures, if something's not clear I would ask Madhav Maharaj to explain something that Gurudev said. Because sometimes Gurudev says things in trance and it doesn't seem to make sense. So I was there uh, visiting with Madhav Maharaj and Gurudev so I thought, okay, great, it's my opportunity. <laughs> So I asked Gurudev, last night you said that the Guru is more intimate with us than our own Atma, but I don't see you like that. Whenever I see you, I just feel guilty that I don't do nice service to you. So he said, yes, that's why I gave that class. Just like there's no separation between the Gopis and Krishna at any moment. So similarly, oh, but, 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 but at the same time, they're always experiencing separation, Krishna and the Gopis, for each other. 
。同样的道理，就好像 Krishna 和木牛姑娘一样，他们永远都没有分离过，但是他们总是呢，就是说，经常的在感受着分离的那种情感。So same thing with Guru. 同样的道理也是跟。He's the most intimate, and at the same time we feel that he's distant, so that gives us a sense of separation. 那么我们跟灵性导师呢也是很近的，但是我们也有感觉到跟他分开，这也就是呃可以给我们啊，就是有分离的那种情感。I was once on the phone with Gurudev, believe it or not. I was in America and he was in India. 有一次呢，就我在美国 ，Gurudev 在啊印印度，这样的话我打电话给他，我不知道你们会不会相信的，就是。And he told me, um, there's no separation between us, just like there's no separation between water and its wetness. That's pretty close. 就是说那个啊，古鲁古啊，古鲁迪亚就说，其实我跟你是这样啊，没有分开的，就像水和那个水泡一样啊。水上。水和水心一样，没有分开的。啊 ，in 1991, when Gurudev was meeting with my GBC guy brothers, uh, he said something similar at that time. 其实，在一九九一年的时候啊，古鲁迪亚跟我的那些神兄弟一起见面的时候，他也说了相相似类似的那些话题。That our goal is to be, um, our goal is that the Chilla Gurde will not say, "Oh, he or she is my disciple," but he or she is my heart. Uh, that much connection. 也就是说，我们的目标是什么？就是说，不要啊，古鲁迪会啊，古鲁迪不会说啊，这是我的门徒，而是古鲁迪会说，这是我的心，我灵魂。Just like um. Shula Rupa Goswami was the his heart was Shula Raghunath Das Goswami, his disciple. 就好像 Rupa Goswami 一样，他是谁啊？他门徒 Raghunath Das Goswami 的心和灵魂。So that in the first verse of Sri Balab Kusmanjali, Shula Raghunath Das Goswami, who is in Raghunuga Bhakti and has that kind of relationship with his Gurudev, Shula Rupa Goswami. 啊，就好像在啊，希拉拉古纳达大师国说米的书啊，维拉古斯曼加里里边，他也讲述了，就是他跟卢巴国说米的那种啊情感。He prayed to him. Oh, okay, somebody can sing with me if you know this. 如果大家知道这首诗，可以唱。First verse. Kamrupa Manjari Sakhi Patita Pulesmin Pum Samparasya Padanam Nahi Pasya Siti Pimbada Rikshita Managata Bhatrakaya Yetu Vedai Kimutach Chuka Banga Vena O Rupa Manjari Oh, you are very, you are known as being very chaste in this land of grudge. So how is it that even though your husband has been away for a few days in Mathura buying cows, how is it that um, you have this big bite on your lip? Is it that some parrot has come along and bitten it? 是不是那些鹦鹉跑过来飞过来，就是说咬了你一口 ？Well, I know that sounds very esoteric, doesn't it? 就是说听起来是不是好像挺 ？So the meaning is that um, whatever uh happens to the mind, heart, and body of Radharani also happens. To the mind, heart, and body of her manjaris. 其实刚才所说的，就是解释到，拉达拉尼他所体验到的东西呢，或者是那些啊印记啊，都会出现在那些曼加里身上。So Radharani was bitten on the lip by Krishna, the parrot Krishna, and so that same bite went on to the lips of Rupa Manjari. 那么当时其实是 vicariously. 是，其实呢，就是说啊 ，Krishna 呢，他当时咬了拉达拉尼的嘴唇。所以那个嘴唇的那个印呢，其实当时卢巴国索米、卢巴曼加里啊，他也有，他嘴上也有这印。So Gurudev said, "Was Raghunath Das Goswami? That's like a joke, right? Hey, you know, you're supposed to be so chaste, but I see this mark on your lips. Is that some parrot? Came along and bitten it. 
，就好像跟他的导师，就是他的女朋友这样开玩笑。他说：“你这么好的女孩子，怎么你嘴唇被人咬了一口？这是怎么回事？是不是阴谷会来咬你了？” So Gurudev said, "Was this prayer, which is the first prayer of La Kusmanjali, was it in happiness or sadness?" 那么 Gurudev 就说了，就是《维拉库斯曼教理》这本书里面第一首诗，到底这种情感呢是快乐呢，还是伤心呢？ It was actually in sadness. I mean, if you can imagine, just right now, you all of you, if you can imagine any experience you've had with a loved one, um, either a relative or a beloved, and it was such a happy experience, but then after the breakup or after a death, then when you remember that same thing, it's you wish you could be there again, but you can't, so it's very sad. 那种感觉就是好像一个人有啊自己的爱人或者自己的亲人呐、啊，很爱的很依恋的，突然间就说离弃或者是死去了。那那种情况下呢，再回想起当时跟他在一起那种美丽的情感，那么心里这种情感到底是开心呢，还是不开心，还是伤心 ？So, um, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami is saying that prayer, weeping in grief and feeling intense separation from his Guru Dev. 所以当时呢，古纳达大师哥说明啊，他其实讲这首诗的时候呢，其实在痛苦中呢，就是向他的灵性导师祈祷。这种 Rupa Goswami, who he had previously seen as Rupa Manjari in that pastime, but now he lost the pastime, and so he's feeling tremendous separation and rolling on the bank of Radhakund, crying to get back again. 所以当时他是看到这些啊啊逍遥时光展现在他心意里边，在心里边，但是突然间这些逍遥不见了，所以他当时是非常痛苦了，就在那个湖边呢、啊，在呃翻滚着痛哭着。So Gurudev was telling my GBC God brothers that that's the relationship that we want ultimately with Gurudev. 就啊、uh, that that intimacy and separation and meeting. Gurudev 当时就跟 GBC 他们说了。他说：“其实这就是一种情感了、啊，就是非常亲密的，就那种情感有分离，又很亲密。” So then,、uh, one of the GBCs, Tamal Krishna Maharaj, he said to Gurudev, "But that's so rare." Tamal Krishna Maharaj 当时就说，他说：“哇，这实在是太罕有了。”So Gurudev said, "Rare, but that's what we want." Gurudev 说：“是很罕有啊，但是这就是我们要的东西。That's why we were created." That's what our souls are. So, um, Gurudev quotes Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur as saying that separation and meeting develop and increase side by side unlimitedly forever. 就是老师公也说过，古代说老师公也说过，就是分离和相相见哈，其实两边都是一直都在发展、向上涨、增加那种情感。And it starts with guru. 其一开始呢，从 guru 开始。这就是啊、呃，平台了，平台从 guru 开始。We hear a lot from different speakers. Tell me if I'm wrong. We hear a lot from a lot of different preachers and speakers. That our goal is to weep in separation and sing so many songs of bhajans to Radharani. Oh, when will I decorate you? Where are you now? 那么我们听到很多就是说啊，导师、传教士都跟我们说了，我们应该呢就是说啊，唱很多歌祈祈祷啊，就是哭着求啊，什么时候呢就能够呢为拉达拉尼去装扮啊这样服务。But Gurudev was telling my God brothers that until you have that intense. Grief of separation from Guru, you can never get it for Radharani or do Bhajan, never reach Raghunuga Bhakti. That Guru Dev said, is if one person has that strong intimacy with the Guru, he cannot get that kind of love. 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 Just like I was、um, editing one lecture that we're going to send out for Nishringa Chaturdasi this year, that was never sent out before. Gurudev was talking about Lord Nishringa Dev. 那么就有一一节课呢，就会发发给大家的，那是啊，关于尼辛哈帝瓦的，就 Gurudev 讲了尼辛哈帝瓦的荣耀的那课。It's all Nishringa. He said it in such a nice tone. 
said, Mashringa is here. Mashringa is there. Mashringa is everywhere. Mashringa is in every creeper, in every tree, in every atom. He said there is no atom in existence that Nishringa Dev is not there. So if you're faithful to him, then he will protect you. He'll save you from it. all things that you need to be saved from and give you Krishna Bhakti, take away all obstacles. So similarly, Gurudev is no less there. Even on a mundane platform, if, you've ever had, if you have ever had a lover or a deceased relative who you really love a lot, and then like everywhere you look you see that person, you can't like get away, even if you want to get away, you cannot get away because they're everywhere. So we want that with Shri Gurudev. That is the goal, and that's what he wants. And that's why he gave us a lot of advanced warning before he apparently pretended to leave the vision of the world. Like uh, in Badger in 2010, um, 2010, yeah, that was the last Badger, he, um, he made the theme of his Badger lectures, Krishna leaving Vrindavan, and how everybody wept, even the bumblebees rolled in the dust, weeping. And even the lotus flowers, they, uh, when Krishna was leaving Vrindavan, the lotus flowers would break and fall, fall off their stems and then be dragged by the currents of the river. And the rocks of Govardhan would uh, break and fall down and break down the trees and the trees would fall down. All the birds and animals would scream and weep when Krishna was leaving. So this was the time that Gurudev chose for his last Badger tour. Badger was the main place that he would practically never miss. And then I was watching him and all of a sudden he went like this. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, Gurudev, are you saying that you're closing up shop? You're getting ready to close up shop? <laughs> and at that moment, he just turned and looked at me. And I thought, oh God, I'm right. <laughs> And then in Russia, um, he was like in a half trance, half there, half not there. I mean, he's never really here. He's always in Goloka Vrindavan. But you knew that he was only half there. <laughs> and 
灵性世界，当然他永远都在灵性世界那边，当时那种情境呢，也就一边在这边，一边一半在那边。And he barely talked to you, barely looked at you. 他很少讲，对人讲话很少看。And you had to really know at that time what to speak of later in Delhi, when he didn't say a word and he only one quarter looked at you. You had to know that uh, he's confirming, if you want me, you know where I am. <laughs> 就是好像啊，后来回到新德里也是一样，就让大家呢知道，其实你们应该知道我在哪里。It's not that you're going to be able to think anymore. Okay, when he goes to Kartik. Okay, when he goes to Hong Kong. If you want me, you know where I am. 就是好像不仅仅是说啊，去香港或者去卡地啊，什么时候？但是其实应该知道了，什么时候你要我的时候，我都在。On one hand, I'm everywhere in every atom in your heart. So you can be with me always and talk to me always and I'll always help you. And on the other hand, um, you can know that I'm in Goloka Vrindavan so you can feel really far away from me and weep in separation. 同时呢，你们也应该呢，就是感受到，其实我现在在遥远的格罗夫文达，你们应该为我哭，接着呢跟我一分开。And we can still give Gurudev to the new people, just like we can give Prabhupada to the new people. 其实我们还永远都可以把 Gurudev 呢介绍给其他的新人，你就好像我们介绍波布帕给啊、呃、其他的一样。It's not that well. What's the use of preaching anymore? There's nobody to bring people to. 呃，不应该想着接到咕噜掉离开，所以就不需要啊、呃，有有还有什么用呢？再去传播什么的，不应该这样想，应该呢继续把咕噜掉呢介绍给其他。We're still bringing people to Gurudev. 我们其实还在把新人带给咕噜掉吗 ？I remember I was having a big fight with him in the year 2007. 在呃二零零七年的时候。One of my only fights. 哈哈，二零零七年有一次跟人家吵了，这也是唯一的一次跟他争了。Me and Kishori Mohan and Sudevi, you know the two singers, the husband and wife singers. We three were having a giant fight. Because he had just made an announcement that all of my sannyasis and senior preachers. Can give initiation even if they have no realizations. Um, 就是有一个呃呃呃宣布，就是说所有的啊，古鲁蒂亚的那个呃年长的那些奉献者啊，还有七节灯都能够给第二次启迪，就算他们没有觉悟也没关系。You're all Majjhima Adhikaris, and Majjhima Adhikari can give initiation. 但你们全部都是中间奉献者，全部都可以给予启迪。And my class master said, "Guruji, I'm not a Majjhima Adhikari." <laughs> so Guru Dev said, "It doesn't matter. You're acting like a Majjhima Adhikari, so that's just as good." Ah, Guru Dev said, "No problem. You're just like a Majjhima Adhikari. So me and Kishori Mohan and Sudevi started telling Guru Dev, "Guru Dev, what are you doing? After all these years, you're messing up the whole planet now by this new order." Just <laughs> like. 我和其实莫汉还有苏天伟三个人说：“咕噜店，你怎么回事啊？你种了这么长时间的树，你把那个不好的水淋上去，那树就已经完了。” So then we went back and forth, back and forth, and in fact, I have the um, what do you call it? Transcriptions, which I'll pass out to you tomorrow, of that fight, of that conversation. 那么后来就是他有了，其实啊，他有那个啊啊对话那些东西，可以发给大家。It's in English, yeah. I think that's the reason. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for your most patient. You can translate in five minutes. Huh? You can translate in five minutes. It's good. Yeah. You have it one. So then, at the end of it, Gurudev said to me, "Don't be worried." Gurudev just said that. So, the end Gurudev just said that. So, don't be worried. So that reminded me when I I had asked him. A couple of years before that, um, uh, who do we take shelter of after you leave? <coughs> so Vasanti will tell you what his answer is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, those are going up and down. No. <laughs> make sure you have an attached I bathroom. Don't worry. I'll make sure that you all have attached bathrooms in Goloka Vrindavan. One, one thing I'll have to mention to a bathroom in Goloka Vrindavan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what an attached bathroom is? There's a not attached bathroom, uh, but there's an attached bathroom. Right. Like Westerners have to have attached bathrooms. Yeah. Yeah. But in Goro Vrindavan, there's so attached bathrooms. He said, don't worry, I'll make sure you all have attached bathrooms in Goro Vrindavan. Oh, go there, there's a male bouncy, a male, but we don't bouncy in Goro Vrindavan, no way, Gaini, Tayo, not a Siso, Jangle, Hans. So what did that mean? To me, it meant, <laughs> to me it, it had two meanings. One, as long as you're attached to a chat bath bathroom, you'll never reach Goloka Vrindavan. And secondly, don't worry, I'll arrange everything, I'll take care of you, I'll give you people to take guidance from, I'm still there. So I, I preach now more enthusiastically than ever before, and I'm always thinking that I'm bringing people to Gurdiv, so I don't have any problem. Whoever the new people want to get initiated by, and whoever they, let's say, I was in the Philippines, some of them had already gotten initiated by somebody, by Madhav Maharaj, great, wonderful. And then we just glorify Gurudev and bring people to Gurudev. The wonderful thing about Gurudev's disciples initiating is that they will bring people to Gurudev. If they're not initiated, then people will go to other people who are initiating who will not bring people to Gurudev. But these people will open up temples for Gurudev, like Ban Maharaj just opened up a temple for the devotees in Brazil. Um, Tirtha Maharaj just gave a thousand dollars to Gadara Prabhu to ship Gurudev's books from Hong Kong, his English books, to the Philippines. Mm. And they'll all give Gurudev's teachings. In this way, Gurudev's line continues. And if somebody, if somebody on Gurudev's level manifests, then uh, all other gurus who are not on that level will bring their disciples to that person who's on Gurudev's caliber. And everything's under the control of Krishna. Um, one, of, one of the things that I said during my fight to Gurudev was that but how can we preach about Guru Tattva then? People will get the wrong idea about the wrong Guru if we preach about Guru Tattva. How he's as good as God and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so he said, you preach just as I'm preaching now and you're preaching now about Guru Tattva. You'll just continue. So I couldn't understand it at the time, I was in the fighting mood, but I understand it now. That everybody's at a different level of hearing and understanding, and they'll all get different impressions anyway when you talk about anything. But our mind is that everyone comes to Gurudev and comes to Prabhupada. And they're coming. I mean, it's so beautiful how people, brand new people are, oh, wherever we go, we went so far to Malaysia and the Philippines, 
brand new people are interested in Guru Dave and Prabhupada. So in that young woman the sing the bang in a sang the just of Banas is in the Champu Naju Tai Guru Dia that is Sri Prabhupada. So in that you have sent what Chira and Maya or Kuri being young, Hana Hao, and Pira, Hando Sin and Dolai, come and those like Guru Dia or Prabhupada. So I'll ask if there's any questions or comments. Tomorrow I have a question for you first. Um, <laughs> day after tomorrow is Sri Gadara Pandit uh, appearance day. So I'm sure that uh, Maharaj or uh, Jeb Mohan Prabhu or somebody will give a class about him on his day, but I'd like to also speak about him tomorrow, which is my last day here. So I'd like to ask you, see, um, in one of the two, I'm going to give two classes tomorrow, one in the morning at 10 o'clock and one in the evening for the regular Sunday Feast program. So one of the classes is going to be a commercial for this book. Um, have any of you seen this book yet? No. It's all uh, lectures that I, either most of the lectures I attended or discussions I attended, so I have personal experience of Guru speaking about harmony. And it's extremely powerful. Um, it makes you petrified to criticize anybody. Or to blame anybody. To find fault in anybody. And it gives the power that we can have harmony and unity. And be free from anger and resentment. So that's going to be one of the classes tomorrow. It even has a great uh, book <laughs> with more knowledge on it. So um, the question is, should I talk about Gadara Pandit Prabhu in the morning? And this in the evening, or this in the morning, and get out or find it Prabhu in the evening. I wouldn't be asking you the question, except that some of you are going to be here in the morning, and some of you are going to be here in the evening. So what should we do? Because they're both good topics. <laughs> So, 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 so is for harmony in the morning? So what we'll do is we'll do harmony first and then we'll see if we can fit in good our pandas. Okay. Of course. Yeah. <laughs>
when we're more likely to get people who hadn't come before or you know, are new. Oh, new. No. Okay. Yeah, or devotees who aren't so regular. Yeah. And, and perhaps the Harmony book would be able to more general appeal. And God Heart Fund is more esoteric. All right. Well, there's so much of this then. Yeah. That we'll do this in the morning and get out our pundit in the morning and this in the evening. Okay. There's a ton of stuff in there. Yeah, <laughs> so, are there any questions or comments? The topic was feeling closer to Gurudev and getting to know him better. And, feel, yeah, and feeling more intimate with him. The reason I repeated it, I repeated the topic, is that um, at every moment our body is changing. <laughs> and that's why we forget things. I remember Prabhupada once said, if I asked you what I said three minutes ago, you'd have to dread your memory to remember. <laughs> yes, Prabhu. Did you can the big followers say that they can also pray to Prabhupada like that? Because Prabhupada is also in the smart in the atom. Sure. They can pray to Prabhupada. Anybody can pray to Prabhupada. And if they're really hearing him, they'll hear him say, take a bona fide guru. Stop your nonsense because it's atheistic and demoniac. <laughs> yeah, that's what he wrote in his book. So it depends if they're praying to the real Prabhupada or their imagined Prabhupada. So then, the, all, all our anatas and our material attachments, how do we know that we are really praying to Guru Dei for something? How do we know that we're really praying sincerely? Yeah, to the real Guru, I mean, uh, let's say that, uh, to the imagined Guru Dei, or really we pray to Guru Dei. Um, actually, just a few days ago, I was editing a question, similar question, and then I heard, I was editing Guru Dei answer. And um, they said, how do we know if we're really pleasing you? Which is a very similar question. And Gurudev said, your soul will be happy. If, if you're not pleasing me, there'll be some pinching in your heart. Of course, somebody can pretend that they're happy, but it depends if the person is honest that was from a morning walk in Italy, I think, this past year. So I'm devoting on that one morning walk in the past year, saying, uh -huh. Uh -huh. how do I know I'm really pleasing you? Uh -huh. well, you'll be happy. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Is that satisfactory, Nandan Prabhu? Yes. 
Any other questions or comments? And Derry, you look like you might have one. when some small things, then always understand and also know that Gurudev is actually protecting and making a happy. But when something big, then already don't know where's Gurudev and where's protection. So in that case, you're saying when something big happens, we may not feel the protection, whereas when something small happens, we can easily say, well, Gurudev protected me. That's what your question is? So in a big program, when how can develop this faith in Gurudev that actually he is protecting, so then can get rid of this eye, never so worry. Well, the same thing. We can ask him. I don't see you. I don't know how you're how you're behind this. Please reveal it to me. A terrible thing happened to me in Vasanti the other day, about three weeks ago. Where I really see how Gurudev was behind it. 三个星期前有一些很不好的事情就发生在我和我上帝的身上。其实那个时候我们才觉得古典确实是在。We were in Malaysia. 我们在马来西亚。Like thousands of Gurudev's books were being distributed. 拍出去了成千上万的书。We have this very interesting way that we distribute books at programs, and thousands of books are being made, sold, posters being distributed, all new people being interested in Gurudev. 很多很多的书啊，还有很多资料都派出去，很多人也对古典很有兴趣。当时也是确实很有趣的这样派出。And um, then the last day before we left, uh, we were having, we were collecting, counting the money and having a meeting where the different money should go for which projects, like for the book sponsorship project or whatever. 啊，最后一天呢，我们就聚在一起呢，把那些卖快书的钱呢数了一下，然后也决定，呃，就是说决定计划怎么样用这些钱。And then uh, she went out to the bank to deposit a lot of it, and I went in the other room to take rest, and there were bars on the door. 那么当时呢，就是说两，呃，我们两个人一个走这边，一个走那边。当时呢，就是有一些那个，啊，墙上有一些那个啊。Five shilagram shilas on the altar, two Radha and Krishna Takrajis, Gurudev, the whole Guru Parampara, everybody was on the altar. So we had eleven hundred dollars. Um, that we were going to give to book sponsorship for the Malaysian temple. And then some thief came and, <laughs> like, a, I don't know what he had, but he moved all the bars and then he slithered into the room, looked through everything in the room, the whole thing was in complete shambles, found the money and slithered out. Uh, that's not the money. was an inside job. Somebody must have told him that there's money just at that time. And then, uh, 
Hollander saw the guy running to his car and he took down a license plate number. So he thought, aha. But then it was a false license plate. <laughs> so we were completely devastated. All this money that the people gave with their heart and soul, all the time we spent distributing the books, our brilliance and how to distribute all those books, all the endeavors, the devotee from Malaysia buying all those books to distribute. We were just a mess. <laughs> just a couple of weeks ago. How can Gurudev and all those Shilagam Shilas just sit there and do nothing? <laughs> okay, so here's the problem, right? They got this big problem. Actually, that's a big problem, right? So we had, to, we had to figure out how Gurudev is behind that, or how, how he's present and how he's helping us. Well, I have more, there's more of the story. Because I'm going to tell you how we worked it out. Yeah, but you can say something now. So, uh, first we just could not fathom it. How Gurudev could be so mean, how Krishna could be so mean, how all those shilograms could be so mean. Okay, so here's the things we figured out that made us feel better. Immediately, a few devotees felt bad for us and gave us five hundred dollars. We remembered, and besides, if you want to add anything more to after I say how you understood Gurudev's protection and all that, and his then we remembered how several months ago in Delhi, no, okay, so here's one of the problems. All those people with their loving hearts, and they were really loving hearts, bought all the books. Some of them bought 10, 20 books, posters. Um, so that was a devastation. So how is their money going to reach Krishna? Of course, they already got the books and posters, so that was done. Then we remembered that in Delhi, in... Um, October, just before Kartik, when Gurudev was in his illness pastimes, and I'm stressing the words pastimes because he was not ill, it was just a show. So at that time, uh, there were Commonwealth Games. That is, many countries come to India, like the Olympics, and they have games. So Vasanti led a party of several ladies um, doing book distribution and kirtan in the trains for the Commonwealth Games. In May, I, just to tell you how I started feeling, once um, once the money was stolen, I felt like somebody took a big knife and sliced down my whole body. It was so painful. <laughs> so anyway, back to Delhi. So Vasani was in charge of the <laughs> party. And then after all the days of the book distribution, um, Vajranath Prabhu would not let everybody in. He just let Visanti in to give the money and to tell about all the 50, 5,000 books that were distributed. 
。那么那其实，在新德里的时候啊，巴加纳伯库呢，他不允许其他人进去这样古殿，只有呢，我三弟弟弟呢，他会过去呢，把钱就是派书的钱交给古殿，哦，因为派了很多书。So, um, so Vasanti said, we did that many books, it was great, we chanted on the trains, and here's the bag of rupees, a big bag of money. 25,000 rupees, pretty good. And the people in the train, they were just chanting and dancing, and the whole city, and they were all coming out of the Olympics, dancing with them, and just loving to take the books. And even though Gurudev was doing his illness pastimes, and he was just like this most of the time, and sometimes he would come to the door, his screen door, when there was like a hundred devotees singing kirtan to him, he would come to the screen door and then like go like this on the screen door to wave to the devotees. Watching the screen door like a weak person, but full of love. So, coming to the punchline, she was feeling when she was going out that even though he's doing his weak lila, all of everything that they were able to do out there in the city was due to his power. 其实尽管姑爹长当时长相那个，就是说啊，生病的逍遥，但是我上天地我所有其他的那神姐妹，他们在做派书的那些服务的时候，都是姑爹的能量。So then, when she gave him that big bag of money, he took his hand and he went like this three times in the bag. 当时呢，就是我上天地把钱给姑爹的时候，姑爹把他手伸进那个钱袋里边，就这样。So Vasanti knew what was happening, that he was blessing all those people who gave all that money. He was putting his shakti of bhakti into all those people. So coming back to the Malaysian, Malaysian theft, one thing, that pacified us, one thing that pacified us was that we knew that when those people were giving their money and love and affection, Gurudev was right there receiving their love and affection. And second, um, it also helped us to be more humble. Sometimes um, Krishna and Guru they let everybody else suffer just to teach their kids something. So I had to be, um, I had to be made humble also because I was thinking, yeah, look at all how great we were. We did all these books and and we have all this money that we can decide where to put it. We're gonna put it in a good place, but we can decide where to put it. 我们就想着哇，有这么多钱，所以我们可以决定怎样用钱，把钱用在哪个方面。当时也是这样，但是其实姑爹、侯会长安排这些事情，也都是一种教导了，让我们变得更加谦卑，而且也是接触呢，教导其他的啊人，其他奉献者。So good, it goes. Oh, you can decide. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> 当时这样想的，觉得哦，你赚啊，就是说派了书拿了这么多钱回来之后，你就觉得你自己可以啊，决定用怎么样用钱。那好，我给你拿走。And then uh, yesterday, somebody just sent a thousand, thousand eight dollars from Germany, who we don't even know, for a book sponsorship program. 那么从那呃德国那边有一个人就是说啊，寄来了一千多块美元。So it isn't that it isn't that the money is limited. Just Krishna and Guru are just doing their thing. So in this way, we 
gradually understood Gurudev's presence and protection. I mean, it had to be Krishna being on that altar because the guy knew exactly what second to come in and break all those bars. And, and even though even though there were devotees outside the building, inside the building, and they even saw him walk away, and they even saw him come, he spent at least 15 minutes in there ransacking the whole place to find that money. So Gurudev was well aware, Krishna was well aware of the fact and let it happen just to teach us higher things about humility and dependence on him and his being with the people when they give the money, so many things like that. Does that help? Mm-hmm. 没搞好 because uh, we was we were having uh, we were supposed to have a festival with Tita Maharaj in Nani. So then Yamuna asked Anjali to bring some books. <coughs> so she made uh, like a few hundred books and spending few thousand RMB. So then she very happily and brought books to Nani. And then now festival don't have did not have. So then she's feeling that what to do with these books, the money not coming back. So Guruji, what to do? I only want to do service. If these books are not distributed out, then money will not get back. So that's why she's feeling bad. Why? I thought you said you were distributing books. When I asked you what you're doing, you told me that you distribute books. Uh, because those are small books and the name cards, Hari 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 Krishna Mahamantra name cards, she's uh, distributing for uh, free because that is very uh, cheap, not so much. But these books she just made now. Uh, Cause a few few thousand a few thousand are RMB. So that's why for he was like spending so much money and books are. Can you sell them anywhere? Can all the devotees help you sell those books to people in China? Can all the devotees help you sell those books to people in China? Can all the devotees help you sell those books to people in China? Can all the devotees help you sell those books to people in China? Can all the devotees help you sell those in this book, Harmony, just reading, that Gurudev was saying, oh, here it is, we should see something good in whatever happens to us. We should see how Krishna has arranged all circumstances for our benefit. Actually, Gurudev said, 
每件事情发生，其实都对我们有益处的。我们应该知道，其实归山所安排的一切都是完美的，而且为为我们的祝福而安排的。What is the best way to think when a problem comes? 那么如果说面对问题的时候，应该怎样去想才会正是最好的那个方法呢 ？Krishna has sent this. There is certainly something good here for me. 那么其实这些东西啊，这些麻烦啊、困难啊，或者是那种比较哎。啊，麻烦的事情，其实我们应该想着哦，这是会想给我们的，肯定是有对我有祝福的。We will have to reconcile everything in that way。所以，我们呢，应该就是这样去呢，让自己呢，去明白我理解这些事情。So if I start with that premise that it is Krishna Day, Krishna and Gurudev who's behind everything。如果说我要是呃，告诉，如果我不再相信。Krishna 和 Guru Dev 在在所有一切的那个啊、呃、事情的安排。For a higher cause。还要。这个大前提系 Guru 同 Krishna。系咯，佢安排啊嘛，佢哋安排啊嘛。大前提。系。就讲。就是前提就是啊、呃、，Guru 和 Krishna 他们安排。If I start with that faith, I may not know why, but if I start with that faith。如果我说我开始这种信心的话。Then I'll have the faith to ask. Okay, please tell me what it is that I'm supposed to know or do or learn. 那么我就会开始问，呃，应该怎么样去学习，去开始，去知道。That is, who is supposed to get these books? 那么这些人呢，谁会呃，就是说买这些不这些书呢 ？The books were going to go to devotees. 这些书应该是呃，就是应该是。Who maybe were going to put their books on their shelves like most devotees do and never read them? 那么有很多人买了书，其实请了书都是放在自己的那个书桌上面不读。But I really want new people to come in contact with Gurudev. I'm going to take it that it's their arrangement. 但是呢，我会接受这些安排，因为什么？很多新人他们会去接受这些书。Now let me see who can get those books who really read them. Maybe I can call up this devotee and that devotee in this city and that city, and let's figure it out together. Synergy. 那就是一起呢，就打电话或者通啊，就是说互彼此互相转告一下，谁会要些的书啊？这样的话呢，就大家会啊帮忙一起派出去。是是是。我你那慢慢的烦恼了，你等吧，就是慢慢的派，就怕不，我那里怕不住，我叫他回去，我们家里慢慢派。She's saying that then now you have to wait and slowly, slowly. Sorry. She's saying that now you have to wait and slowly, slowly, uh, to distribute them out. You know, there's a saying, Anjali. There's a saying in the material world. It says, if you believe that you can, or you believe that you cannot, you're probably right. 就是不管你相信是可能或不可能，但是你可能也是对的。We make our future. Woman. Proactive people, they think of solutions. Reactive people think of problems. 就是说，哎，我们想的是将来，然后呢，就是。我哋做就我哋嘅将来，即系一个先知先觉嘅人咧，谂咗解决方法；一个后知后觉嘅人咧，就会。就等待嘛。Okay, I believe that Krishna and Guru were here, are behind this, because why should they throw their beloved Tirtha Maharaj into, into the Police station. Unless, I mean, unless they were there. Um, so now, what what do they want to happen? That's more spreading of Krishna consciousness. 其实呢，就是现在所能理解的就是为什么把呃古鲁和 Krishna 把呃提达马拉吉那么轻那么近的梦想者呢送到那个呃警察局去呢？其实原因就是想更多的去传播 Krishna 自己。Let's see, Guru Dev sent. Um, Tirtha Maharaj to spread Krishna consciousness. So, how can I make it that his visit will be the most spreading of Krishna consciousness? Wow, I have all these books and all these god brothers and god sisters who can help me distribute them fast. 那么 Guru Dev 呢派提达玛拉奇来这边就是为了传播 Krishna 自己。那现在正好你看，就是因为他来了，所以我就印了这么多书。那这样的话呢，我就可以很好的传播。那么其他的啊。神兄弟姐妹，他们也有机会得到这些书，他们有也有机会可以派这些书。Creation happens twice. 
First in the mind and then in the physical world. Are you coming with us to any city in China? She's asking. If you, uh, how many books are there? A few hundred? Okay, we'll help you if you bring it to a city that it will be in in China. And you can give them to any god brothers and god sisters. Uh, the book is the Yeah. Yeah. The Yeah. 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 And Jimu is arranging to get them to our first city. Now is in the name. Now is in the name. Ah, 就是其实不用担心，他们也有一大箱的 CD 也是要去派的。那你担心什么？我一个房间都是书呢。I tell you that I have one room book. In in I have one room of book. So I am slowly slowly distributing. No need worry. You go slowly. She wants fastly, fastly. We can go to yoga studios and so many places. I'm fast. Yeah, we'll we'll go to yoga. We can go to yoga centers and so many places. Do the people of Hong Kong speak that language, or is it just something of mainland China? Okay, okay, we'll help you if you bring them to the city. Or a few cities will do it in one city after another. And also, if you can call up those cities, call up whatever devotee is organizing that city, those different cities that you'll be with us at, and ask them to make many outside engagements in yoga centers and whatever engagements they can, and we'll, we'll help you sell them there. There's dozens of devotees in one QQ, which is like a Skype group in China. Dozens and dozens all over. Or Considering what Maharaj just said, this could be Gurudev's arrangements to get us to broaden our concept of how to distribute books in China. <laughs> I'll tell you another sad story. How we had to see Gurudev and Krishna in it. So the Gurudev said in 2002, in Los Angeles. Is everybody listening? 
I don't want my books to remain in cold storage. As soon as they're printed, they should be distributed and reprinted in cyclic order. So in our Gopinath Bhavan, go down in Vrindavan, there was $9,000 worth of books. Which, in the basement, which our planet of, of Sangha devotees were not ordering because the devotees uh, have a different mood. So what happened was, Jamuna Devi herself, not the one from China, <laughs> the one that Krishna swims in. <laughs> rose up and flooded the basement. <laughs> and because we didn't follow Gurudev's instructions, we lost $9,000 with the books. <laughs> and for weeks, Vasanti, Anita, Govinda were drying out all the books. They were all bubbly. And they sold books cheap So the lesson learned, the lesson hopefully learned is, I don't want my books in cold storage, get them out to the planet. One girl in uh, Holland, one of Gurudev's uh, disciples, she said to him, uh, how do I know what is my nature? So Gurudev said, forget, I was standing right next to her. He said, forget your nature, come to my nature. <laughs> so our nature is that we're very shy, we don't like to talk to people. I'll tell you a story, don't feel bad. We were in the Miami airport. Miami, 2000 or so. And as you know, you know, he sits on the chairs at the airport and everybody sits on other chairs or the floor around him. So, um, he had been telling one of his daughters, Manjuri, kept telling her, just preach, don't work for a living, just preach and Krishna will take care of you, but she was too afraid. So then I asked Gurudev for her benefit and anybody else who was interested. I said, Gurudev, there's a difference between Prabhupada's disciples and your disciples. When Prabhupada said, go out and spread Krishna consciousness, we didn't have any ifs, ands, or buts. We just went, even though we had no qualification <laughs> at all. <laughs> we were all a bunch of drugged out hippies, and we just went out <laughs> and preached. Then I said, but when you say that, your disciples don't do that, they don't, they're afraid. So he said, yes, that is the thing. All right, let them just go into the kitchen, 
Thank you. 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 Jumping over the heads of elephants and preaching. He in the message also said he said he used his wife, like a bird, like a bird, very, 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 Jai 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 Jai